when my parents saw some little kids in the newspaper um, that had their little violins and thought it was cute. Janae Fleener started playing when she was only three years old. Mom hoped she would take the classical route and someday attend Juilliard. But dad enticed Janae with the sounds of Merle Haggard and Ray Price. I love country music. You would then say the rest is history. But this history wasn't made without decades of grueling practice, pricey lessons, and sacrifice. I had to practice an hour a day. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember times I did not want to practice. <laughs> but there was never a time that I was like, I'm done with this. At 18, Fleener moved from Springdale, Arkansas to Nashville. Two months later, she was on the Grand Ole Opry stage as part of the band for singer-songwriter Larry Cordell. Since then, the stages have only gotten bigger. Steven Tyler of Aerosmith, Martina McBride, and Blake Shelton. You know, Blake is, gosh, he's just the best. He's created so many amazing opportunities for me. I think that solo is part of the reason Sam Hunt ended up calling me to play on his record. It took Janae a little longer to get from concert venues to the studio. She remembers crying in her car, frustrated that she wasn't booking more sessions. You can't um, make up for experience and time. Yeah. And, and that's what I needed under my belt. Now she's in high demand for new records. Fleener has played on hit songs for John Party, Cody Johnson, Rascal Flatts, Trace Adkins, Reba, Trisha Yearwood, and of course, Blake Shelton. In 2019 and 2020, Fleener won Musician of the Year at the CMA Awards. She's the first female to take home that trophy in the ceremony's 52-year history. Her connection to Blake Shelton has also made Fleener the perfect fiddle player to take the voice stage on NBC. Last season, you know, everybody went home and um, it was right when the pandemic started. So that was the first time in like six or seven years I wasn't flying back and forth to L.A. to do the voice. Fleener has spent most of 2020 at home but still playing music. She's also equipped with a mobile studio, which she's even brought home to Arkansas while visiting family. Earlier this year, Fleener released a solo track called Fiddle and Still, which she premiered at the Grand Ole Opry. The problem with me and my own music is I'm so busy playing on everybody else's. I never have time for myself. 